everyone, Chris Tarnett here for Card Theory TV for another edition of Strategy. I'm here with Mike Leah. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about is that when I interviewed you for a story for the website, the yep. po a Poker Life, you told me that one of the things that you did this year was that you started min raising proof up, and obviously that's when no one's limited. But why did you decide to start doing that? Um, I just playing live all the time. There, were, I just wanted to try and outplay people post flop because mm -hmm. there's a lot more play as opposed to online tournaments where it's a lot more pre-flop. Um, so I just started doing it and then I had some s success with it so I just stayed with it for a long time. Even in the beginning stages of, stages of a tournament where the big blind is pretty much going to call with anything, yeah. is it ever difficult? Do you ever get lost in the hand because you don't really, you haven't really narrowed their range at all pre-flop? Uh, no, because you're always in position against the blinds. Mm -hmm. So I just played a lot of pot control checking behind and usually they had bad hands, I had better hands so I won the majority of the pots. So I, I gained a lot of chips using that strategy against mostly the blinds. The one thing when you told me that I, I thought it would be interesting deeper in the tournament when the blinds are much bigger and the stack to pot ratio is smaller that when you did min raise people you know might be folding even in the big blind but you've been doing the all tournament so it wasn't like they were like oh he's min raising now so that did, do you see that as an advantage? Uh, yeah because they never knew what I had. It, right. it confused people a lot they didn't know if I had aces or 5-4 suited, so that's the whole thing is just hiding the strength of your hand or uh, implying strength when you don't have a good hand. So. so would you not recommend this strategy for those who are maybe not as good at hand readers as you are, or, or I mean, if yeah, they're not it, it's, it's It's a better strategy definitely for people who like to play a lot of pots and like to play a lot of post-flop mm -hmm. poker. People that would rather just win the pot pre-flop, then they're better off raising bigger, of course. Now, you said you recently started changing that and you stopped min, ra min yeah, raising? Yeah, I'm up to like 2.5 minus <laughs> one chip for oh, right minus now. One, one yeah. chip. Okay. Uh, I just felt that I was min raising only because I only min raised. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to change it up for a while just for variance oh. and just so that I'm not doing something just because I'm forcing myself to do it. So I just, you know, seeing how that goes and then I'll try and make decisions based on what I think is the best thing to do instead of just doing it because I do it. So.